channel here I just want to say welcome my name is Scarlett and I post videos about paganism witchcraft tarot and spirituality so today I have kind of a fun topic for you guys or at least I think it's fun and I wanted to talk about dating and dating while being pagan um, like Many of you, um, I discovered my own spiritual path when I was a young teen. I was about 13 or so. So since then, I've had to, you know, date people while having this kind of alternative <laughs> spiritual path. And I know a lot of people have chimed in online through YouTube and blogs about what their experiences have been dating while being pagan and it's a big variety too of people who have had great experiences and people who have had a lot of struggles with it so because i'm you know been pagan for a while i've dated several people um but uh, unlike some of you guys none of them have been pagan before so i have approached that you know a bit differently than many others who might be dating someone who shares a similar spiritual path to them so the people that i've dated the approach that i've taken because they have not shared my own spiritual path is that i've kind of separated it a little bit uh it's not that i didn't tell people about my personal beliefs it's more so that I went slow about it, um, just kind of gauged the situation, waited to kind of see um, how they might kind of approach it, and, and kind of go slowly with it. And it, it worked out pretty well overall. I've never run into any serious difficulties um, with previous partners or anything like that um, due to my personal beliefs, but I have kept it kind of, kind of separated. And by that, I mean I never really push my beliefs on them. So, you know, for example, if I want to do a spell or a ritual, I'll probably just wait until, you know, they're um, doing something else or, or out of the house before I begin. And when it comes to things like Christmas or family holidays, I tend to just go ahead and celebrate what they would like to celebrate with them, you know, but still I would celebrate my own holiday myself. So for example, for Yule, well I would personally decorate for Yule and set up an altar for Yule and celebrate that on my own, um, I would still celebrate Christmas. I don't have a problem with, um, with doing that for them or, you know, going to their family and celebrating it with them too. So I kind of keep it a little bit private because uh, on, in my opinion, my, <laughs> sorry, Grigory hears, <laughs> ah, <laughs> cat's attacking me because, um, yeah, so where was I? Oh yeah, um, because I kind of view it as like this personal thing for me. So I just keep my own personal spirituality um, separate from the relationship and that's a bit different than a lot of other people a lot of other people really want to incorporate their partner uh, within their spiritual practice and for those of you that are lucky enough to have met someone who is also pagan that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be super easy because there are so many different um, varieties and um, different types of paganism out there that even if you could both be pagan or um, both you know practice a certain kind of paganism you still might you know differ a lot and that you know could lead to arguments too so it really is you know a case-by-case -case basis and I wish there were more um, kind of like opportunities to meet other pagans out there um, now you know I'm I'm actually engaged so <laughs> I'm not dating anymore um, but it would have been fun you know to have met other pagans while I was dating back you know in college and a little bit after college um, so um, I wish you know there was like a cool dating app out there for pagans but you know who knows maybe that's maybe that'll come who knows um, but overall I think I personally have very positive experiences um, with people being really open. I think it's just how you approach it, just kind of going slow, um, not throwing everything in your their face all the time, and making sure you seek out people who are likewise accepting and understanding. 
So I've personally, you know, not had much problems with it, but I'd love to hear your stories. So please do share in the comments below what your experience has been. Have you dated only pagans or have you only dated non-pagans or both? Um, I'd love to hear your story below. And um, also before I leave you today, I wanted to let you know that I have announced the giveaway winner for November. And um, I'll be uh, sharing that soon on Instagram. And I will also be doing a, another giveaway for this December. So if you missed that opportunity to get your free tarot reading, do check out my Instagram. I'll be posting that new giveaway soon. And my Instagram is at Arcane Alchemy. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'm really excited to read your comments below. And I will talk to you later. Bye.